Mask split seconds where one vehicle splits apart to two in seconds. Hey guys, Ken here from the Retro Tarskapades channel in Malaysia. On the channel today, I'm checking out the best vehicle from Mask Series 4 in 1987, the split second jet Skybolt. Now, the Mask Skybolt is one absolutely breathtaking beast of a fighter jet operated by team leader Matt Tracker. The Mass Split Second series is overall not a favorite among fans, but I think the fact that this one was the team leader's official jet kinda maybe made the creators pour in a little bit more effort, creativity, and budget into the finished product. The whole vehicle has got desert military style camouflage colors, which is great, right? So if this thing is hiding out in some canyon or behind a couple of mountaintops, um, you know, you won't be able to see it. Okay, it could be hovering there in silent mode, just waiting to sneak up on the enemy. Also, uh, this thing has got some pretty good detailing that's brought up by the use of stickers. And I really like the one here that's on the fin. Um, it's one of those rare times I see a sticker on a mass vehicle that's got some personality to it. This one's like a hand holding on to a bolt of lightning, all right? To symbolize the vehicle logo, the sky bolt. The underside of the jet is all dark blue it's kind of a surprise because if i look at the packaging photos on the package uh it shows that the underside of the vehicle is supposed to be like light blue uh but then uh you know the actual execution of the toy it turns out that the color is really dark blue um anyway you do get a lot of detail here uh there's a lot of stuff here actually that's on the underside of the vehicle and uh this front wheel here is a stationary hard plastic wheel it doesn't roll but you get two rolling wheels here uh, in the middle of the vehicle. Uh, these are rubber tires, so the vehicle rolls smoothly. Uh, so when it's in stationary mode, you can get this thing moving on the ground. Kind of squeaks a bit like a mouse. <laughs> okay, so the vehicle is piloted by team leader Matt Tracker. Now the mold for this figure, uh, if you look closely enough, it looks uh, like it's been taken off the Series 1 Matt Tracker that came with the Thunderhawk. That's why he's in the same stance, uh, it's very rigid looking. Uh, some of the other Matt Tracker figures have a bit of dynamic uh, sculpting to them, the arms and the legs, uh, but this one's very rigid. Overall, a good likeness and uh, he comes with the new Spectrum mask, okay? Uh, New Spectrum is basically just a garbage name for a mask, all right? Just stinks of no creativity whatsoever in the naming of it. Uh, but the mask itself is pretty nice, okay? I kind of like the details on this. But you're going to have to be really careful with it, though. Uh, you see these extensions here? Now, there's something about the Series 4 masks that come with the figures. They all tend to harden after a while. And this one's just freaking hard right now, okay? It's hardened over the years. And these tend to crack very easily, especially those extensions there. So you got to be careful. Now, the main task of the new Spectrum mask is to generate the computer image of Matt Tracker. Now, these figures uh, that come with the split seconds vehicles, they're all the same, uh, translucent, uh, but the only thing is that they come in different colors, all right? So Matt here, his computer image is orange. It's a pretty good figure, um, and the mask on the clone, all right, is actually a bit soft, okay? I don't think this thing is in danger of cracking, uh, but you gotta be careful with them regardless, all right? So, okay, now we've got the clone, in his full gear let's get these guys seated in their vehicle now the skybolt has an opening cockpit cover all right you can get Matt tracker comfortably into there uh the cockpit itself does have some detailing uh mainly uh, a sticker console all right with some panels on it and stuff like that uh but you know there isn't anything there for matt to actually hold on to all right there isn't like a handle or you know you know playing joystick or something like that and uh, nothing like that for him to hold on to to operate the plane so maybe um you know maybe it's on autopilot or maybe he's controlling it with his mind now it's transformation time pressing this button here in the middle splits the vehicle apart in a second check that out <laughs> smooth the front section of the Skybolt is now a single man operated plane or shuttle. Uh, and the wings have these uh, extensions here that can be pulled downward to give it more of an alternate look. All right, uh, to give this vehicle more of an alternate look than just being the front section of Skybolt. Uh, nothing much gets revealed other than these jet thrusters here, which are made of die cast and these look fantastic. I love the look of these on the plane. 
Um, and then uh, we also have the one single bit of weaponry here in the front, which is the nose missile. Now this thing shoots out. Okay, this thing just shoots all the way out. Uh, all you need to do is point it at your victim. Uh, I mean target, press on this orange button here at the side and just let it rip. What the? It's still standing. <laughs> Let's try it again. Okay, yeah. Just let it rip. Yeah. Stay down, sucker. <laughs> now, the other cool thing is that the front section of the Skybolt can be positioned as a freestanding rocket, just like you see here. Now, this is an official third mode, okay? I'm not sure if this thing was intended to go into space, but it's a rocket nonetheless. You're getting three vehicles for the price of one. Okay, next we're checking out the Truster car. This thing could actually be a ground assault vehicle, even of some kind. Uh, it's pretty interesting looking. You get the Mars logo here up in front. So much of this vehicle was actually hidden from view. So everything here is kind of a revelation. Uh, pressing on this button causes the fin that was originally on the plane section at the back there. It now becomes a spoiler. So it swings around and becomes a spoiler for this ground vehicle. You can also position the wheels in the front forward. Uh, the engine section can be extended out a bit to reveal more of the rear wheels. So you do get a couple of moving components with this vehicle. Overall, this vehicle is pretty nice looking. It's nowhere near as weird as some of the other split seconds vehicles. Okay, now you can get the computer image of Matt <laughs> in the driver's seat. Finally, there's a place for him to be seated somewhere. Uh, the wheels on this guy move along very smoothly. Everything's uh, rubber. The front and back tires are all rubber tires. And you get this missile here in the front that shoots out, all right? So you get two missiles with this set, all right? Just aim this thing at the enemy and pow! Take him down, straight down, right? Also, if you wanted to, the uh, swinging spoiler can also be a weapon <laughs> to swat the enemy aside like a bug. Okay, time for a crowd photo. Let's get all of the prominent jets from the Mars series out here for a comparison shot. We've got the Skybolt here right next to Switchblade and also the Meteor. I would say that the Skybolt really does stand out as a pretty awesome addition to the ranks of Mars Jets. You know, ultimately, you know, I hope based on the review as well that you guys can see that this vehicle is definitely the best Mask split second vehicle. Okay guys, that's the video. Once again, I had a lot of fun doing this. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I also want to know how many of you guys out there had Mask, you know, owned any of the mass vehicles when you're growing up how many of you guys collected the series all the way up to split seconds let me know in the comments and i'll catch all of you guys again real soon with more content thank you and take care